last October with a bit of help from Yoga, Lincoln, and the dogs, a project 10 months in the making was complete. And with the application of her ceremonial paw pads and a thorough inspection by older siblings of all species, we welcomed Quinn into our family. From the moment we brought her home, our girl was quite literally surrounded by love. Quinn quickly learned to appreciate the warmth of napping against a Ridgeback and the warmth of a nanny dog double checking she was still breathing. Apparently, that's one instinct that holds true across species. As Quinn grew, so did the intensity and frequency of the kisses from a remorseless zero. My pup can resist anything except the temptation of a new human. But I'm grateful for his compulsion because in the haze of caring for a baby, it's easy to get lost in the carousel logistics of feeding, napping, and changing. Zero ensured that through all the sleepless nights, Quinn felt the most important thing, loved. That's why it's no surprise that when she could start moving on her own, Quinn turned to her nanny and returned the favor. This clip perfectly captures their relationship. On both sides, it's a joyful and tolerant give and take. These two have a pure, wordless communication in which their shared message of love is not diluted by words. Getting to bear witness to that message and appreciate its meaning is a gift that I'll treasure always. Just like this clip. But what was a surprise this past year was to see how much more comfortable Miss Penny Mayhem was as a big sister the second time around. And I do mean comfortable. There's no higher praise from Penny than her giving you the honor of being the royal fireside pillow. Plus, it was pretty fun to see Zero Mope about Penny getting time with Quinn too. Though, there was no shortage of time together thanks to COVID. Lockdown meant that Quinn spent more time with just me and the dogs than is healthy for any sane person. Thankfully, she was too young to know any better. And Quinn was gracious enough to accompany me on daily jaunts with the dogs. Here too, another essential message was communicated. Wherever we go, we go together. And wherever we find ourselves, we find joy. Not because of the place, but because we carry it there. In our hearts, and in a green backpack. There were a lot of dark days this year, but I discovered that sometimes the things you carry actually have a way of lightening your load. I'm grateful for Penny and Zero's guidance as I navigated fatherhood once again, keeping an eye on Quinn both out in the world as well as making sure none of the lions from Lion King try to jump out of the screen and steal her. Even if her big brother sometimes wished they'd do just that. My friends with similarly aged kids have lamented all the socialization their children are missing out on. But I think Quinn has received a stellar education on the merits of sharing, the boundaries of ownership, and the rules about what she's supposed to eat. Not that she has it all down quite yet, but I'm grateful she has such diligent and patient tutors. It's been quite the year for our girl, full of smiles, surprises, bumps, 
maybe most important of all, opportunities to laugh amidst the chaos. It's an essential skill, especially around here, when I can't even begin to count the number of times one of my creatures has thrown up on another. So today, we celebrate the year of Quinn with gratitude for the girl, her guardians, and the time we spend together. Happy birthday, Q. Looking forward to many more.